Hey everybody, Spoonfat here, and today I am booting up Pen2, which is a uh, security distro based on Gen2. And Gen2 takes forever to, uh, well, basically make or compile, as it as were. So, what we're going to do. So I will be doing one on Pen2. Um, there's something else that I found out is I've totally forgot about one uh, distro until I found an old version of my of that one in um, basically in, in in one of my drawers. So I'm gonna do that one as well because he made a new version and he made it installable. So I'm very glad with that. Let's see if we can get. Um, settings panel. I think that will work. Screen resolution. Let's make this one that one. Apply. All right. One more moment. Okay. Why is it? Okay. Well, that didn't work. No. Nope. Hmm. I probably cannot make. Alright, that's a bit of a bummer. Huh. Alright, let me see if I can log out. No, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no, we have system. Oh, I cannot do anything, can I? Ah yes, we're 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 close, 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 close. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. No, because I don't want that. I want that one. Okay. Now I'm just. Well, I lost my menu, but okay. <laughs> oh, then it goes back, of course, because I cannot click. Okay, okay, I get you. Well, anyway, the tools on Pen2 are some analyzing tools. So these are well, yeah, basically, Medusa has like a brute force login as well. Uh, DNS and Noom for getting um, subdomains, stuff like that. Uh, some Bluetooth scanning stuff, but Bluetooth is really, uh, it's really difficult to have Bluetooth these days. What do we have uh, for BIOS? Um, John the Ripper, I believe. CUDA RAR crypt, as in uh, to get into RAR files. Uh, we got some MS SQL uh, database crackers, Minimize SQLator, Oracle crackers, and SQL Map. Biggest one, I think. I don't know this one. Uh, we got some exploits. Uh, so we've got let's see, let's see, let's see. W3 W3AF, which is the um, for the web. Uh, Manasploit, Inguma, and Fast Track. I still need to do all that to get. Um, well, let's like it says here. Footprints uh, fierce is I think also brute force uh, like subdomainer fingerprints. 
to get what is uh, running on the system, what kind of service there on the system, geolocation, that's pretty cool that they put it in here. Um, HTTP for uh, getting like what is running on an HTTP thing, uh, mail addresses, and uh, getting metadata out of Google. Uh, Google, I think, is what it was. Uh, forging packets, fuzzing, and there is a lot of stuff. This is actually pretty comprehensive. Fuzzing basically means sending random data and see what happens. Um, some miscellaneous stuff. You know, Snort, Remote Desktop, Mac Changers, uh, Man in the Middle Tax, uh, DSniff Suite. So uh, you have, this is actually a pretty cool suite, uh, at least I think it's a pretty cool suite, um, of tools that will get you like what kind of URLs uh, are being passed, what kind of, um, like you can spoof DNS servers, so it makes you think you are the DNS server, so you can see what kind of requests are being made, stuff like that. I think this one is for uh, man in the middle for Bluetooth, but I don't, I'm not sure, uh, I've never seen this tool before. Um, we got some proxy servers running, so uh, Tor, uh, Burp Suite proxies, so you can see what ha what's going on. Um, this is for forensics. Wow, this is pretty, this. If you consider this distro is like from 2009, it, this is pretty complete. Uh, some scanners for uh, vulnerability assessments, basically. So it's Nikto, what, what PT? I'm missing Skipfish actually. I'm a big fan of Skipfish. I really am. And Nessus. And some uh, zip cracking. So this is for digital telephony. Stuff like that. Um, and wireless hacking. So the Aircrack suite. Uh, which is basically hacking for wireless tools. made uh, Specifically made for that. Airpawn is like a automatic script that will hack people. Uh, web attacks, web decrypts, Wi-Fi taps, and Wi-Fi wait. WPA supplicant is like for uh, getting wireless connection to work on your computer with WPA. Well, um, this is basically it, <laughs> as it were. I mean, there's not much more that I can tell you. There's some like some programming tools on here. Um, internet tools as in uh, Zenmap, uh, Wi Fi Raider, uh, Remote Desktop, you know. I don't know what this is. Sound and video, key bindings, off crack, you know, VMware's. And this is basically the same menu as the Pen 2 menu on top. And some system tools to, uh, yeah, let's see. Ah, oh, here's NVIDIA server settings. Wait, wait, let me start it up again. Oh, yeah, awesome. Right, that's not what I want. Let me restart the theme. Yes, sir, we, Bobby. And here we go. You do not appear to be using NVIDIA. <laughs> wait. Yes, yeah, good. Well, basically, um, I wish I could, but there's no refresh rate, so I cannot uh, change the like desktop. So what I will do is I'll scroll down a bit like so. Okay, here's the menu. So this is the normal menu. This is the, like the settings shortcut that I used a couple of times. This is uh I have no idea. What was this? Screenshot manager? Ah it will take a screenshot. No, stop. Alright cool. Well it will take a picture probably. Boom. See, and we'll keep taking pictures. So. Can I just. Oh, damn. <laughs> that will keep on going. That's pretty funny. Awesome. Let me see if I can <laughs> restart the theme again. Yes, thank you. But and here we have um, emulators, editors, Wireshark, and here 
there are some gadgets like for seeing time and uh, what's being used and everything but um, since I'm on a virtual machine this stuff doesn't work but as you can see it looks beautiful it really does and if you hold your mouse to the side you bounce between screens well uh, all in all this is a whoa not open with just want to open it you don't know which to open okay uh, there's probably one f um what is one inkscape is that one on here new Nah, eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, the only virtual machine manager. Ooh, let's see. Sorry, I saw something that I want. Is other VMware user agent. Huh? That doesn't work. Okay. So uh, basically, this is Pen Two. So you you've got a bunch of tools, and I believe it's still updatable. But I forgot where that is already. Should be probably in here, I think. Yeah, there is a way I think to upgrade all these tools, but kind of forgot what it is. I don't know if it works with like app get or not. Let's see. No. Uh, I just think what ah uh, that's what it because it's Gen two of course. Uh, what this guy did was he he got a bunch of tools and he just made one distro out of it. But it's hard to update these tools unless you have like. Uh, probably SVN is on here or not yeah so uh, you can update them with uh, SVN but uh, the problem is if you use that then you have to go with every tool that you use if it's upgradable or not so it's not very like handy to work with because it's not up upgradable or updatable uh, but, but otherwise it looks fantastic I mean I know I like GNOME, but Enlightenment is easily, if handled, executed properly, better than GNOME. I mean, just look at how well made this is. How the mouse cursor has like little animations. Uh, the menu look great. The buttons look great. You know the, the icons, everything. So um, yeah, people should make more Linux distributions with Enlightenment and yeah, I know that it's for security distro, so people are usually like, oh no, we need like less um, uh, graphics because it should be focused on like, how you call it, the tools and, and that it should be secretive and whatnot. What is more secretive than a distro that looks like beautiful enough that it could be a personal desktop user and, or personal desktop um, OS and then people coming by and look at you and think well no it's way too like pretty looking to be uh, deadly if you make something that looks already weird or n not good looking or uh, then people walk by and think what is he doing he has a weird desktop it looks ugly old hmm. so I think you should be able to disguise your security distro with like flare and um, which basically you get pen to and with a cute little graphic um, this is it for me for now um, I will be doing some other distros of course uh, uh, there, there's one security distro that I'm gonna install and use and because I totally forgot about that and so uh, I'm not like I said I'm not gonna be using backtrack I'm not gonna be using knack track I'm not gonna be using matrix 
I'm gonna be using t something totally different and something I like even better uh, than than those. Uh, so yeah, stick around and take care.